All right, so we're gonna make a blending stump or a tortillon. We have either your sketchbook paper or you can do a piece of copy paper. You can even do, you can do pretty much any kind of paper. Newspaper, you can try all kinds of different things. I'm going to take a ruler and I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of eyeing this. I'm going to, this is gonna be my widest end and I'm just going to do a light diagonal line so I have sort of an upside down um, thin triangle. And then I'm going to cut off and make sort of a bottom. So this is what I'm going to cut out. You can also tear it out. Tearing is fine too. But for those of you who like more precise directions, I'm doing it this way. You can obviously do more of these because we will do more than one. So you could try tearing. And I just did basically the opposite, but <clears throat> I have one long side and one short side and it's on a diagonal on one side. So here we go. I have my long side, my short side. I'm gonna roll from my long side. So the, the tip to getting a good tortillon is by having a really, really tight roll. So you want to sort of make this paper nice and pliable. I um, rub my fingers on it. Sometimes I even take it on the side of the table and rub it on the side of the table to make it nice and pliable. And then I use, sorry for the shaking, I use my thumbs, my fingers, anything I can to get this beginning to happen, this beginning sort of roll. You don't wanna just roll big because you need it to be super tight so the paper is really close together. So this, this is gonna take the longest amount of time. You might roll this way, you might roll this way, you might do it in your hands, but this is gonna take the longest amount of time. So once you have it rolling, literally, this is the same thing, uh, but now it's rolling. So now I'm able to roll it. Some people can roll it Mine's like a little bit flat on both ends, that might happen to you. And if it does, just squeeze it, kind of like a coil of clay, to make it more tubular. And as you roll, you will see that what will happen is you'll start to get this pointed end happening. Remember, keep it super, super tight. And then when you've finished, you will take a piece of tape. It's good to have your tape ready to go and prepared so you don't have to let go of this like that. And you will tape it closed. Make sure you don't put tape over this part because that's the part you're gonna use for blending. So now you've made a, tor a tortillon. If you need, if this is like really flimsy this, and not very strong, you'll feel the strong parts where there's lots of paper. If it's really flimsy, you can take some scissors. Actually, let me go in. You can take some scissors and trim sort of in a pencil shape. That's quite all right. And then once you're done, you will test the blending skills that this creates. Here we go. So you can also use it to make marks even without. And it's a great way to blend without using your fingers because your fingers have oils on them that gets in the pencil. And so yeah, this is 
works pretty well actually and different papers work uh, in different ways so it's nice to try different papers as well there you go your own homemade tortillon